India is home to almost 14,000 leopards. They can survive in various habitats, terrains, climates and altitudes because of their incredible adaptability. Being highly opportunistic and experts at blending in, you can even find some of them at the periphery of urban settlements. This time, we are heading to Jhalana Leopard Reserve for 8 safaris and I am going to show you just how challenging it can be to chase a subject that can turn invisible on command. If you don't see a leopard here, know that it is watching your every move. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenneth Lawrence and this video is the perfect example of how unpredictable it can be when you're filming and photographing wildlife. My initial intention was to make a three-part series on Jalana's leopards. But with limited sightings, I was lucky to still have this one standalone video to bring you. Jalana is special to me because I've been filming a broadcast movie here for a little over one year and I still have a few filming schedules to go. I've spent several full days inside the reserve and I've been fortunate to witness and document some unbelievable leopard behavior. Because of my broadcast film, I cannot make this video very story driven, but I will show you what it's like to be in my vehicle and chase wild leopards. Welcome to Jalana. This place is one of the best places in the world to see the Indian leopard. If you're lucky, you can see it really close. This is day two, uh, safari two. We arrived here uh, yesterday in the afternoon and we did one evening safari. We saw three cats and that was fantastic. Uh, today there is a ton of fog and the visibility is close to non-existent. But uh, I'm more hopeful for the second half of the day. And that should be um, a good time to see some cats coming out. They should be basking and uh, we should be there, hopefully filming and photographing them. We were extremely lucky to have a leopard sighting on our very first safari the previous evening. It was an adult male called Rana. He is the local showstopper and he is quite possibly the most photographed Indian leopard out there. His latest facial scar is written evidence of his fearless nature and territorial ambitions. This subadult cub was our next immediate sighting. She and her mother then vanished into the tall grass. The dense fog made it very difficult to sight leopards. Wildlife photography in the winter may be uncertain, but it is beautiful. two hours of driving our morning safari is almost over and no big cats yet but we're just enjoying the winter fog it is so dense here hopefully the evening is better when the sun comes up and it burns through all of uh, this mist 
Well, the sky seemed to have cleared up an hour after we got back from the morning safari and um, it's blue skies everywhere. Our first sighting of the evening was a black-winged kite eating a desert jerd. The foreground was very obstructive and there was no clearer angle to document the bird of prey. A herd of female Nilgai were grazing nearby and they were constantly alert. Any movement or noise in the dry grass can sound off an alarm. On one of the previous schedules of my broadcast project, I filmed a leopard taking down a large female Nilgai. It was a sight so rare, I may never see it happen again. On a few occasions, whilst filming wildlife, I've had my memory cards rapidly fill up, especially when filming in 8K RAW. A huge shout out to Exascend for sending me their 1TB CF Express Type B memory card. This little fella has an extremely fast read and write speed. It is dust resistant, weatherproof, impact resistant, and most importantly, it ensures that I never miss a shot and that I never have to waste time switching memory cards. We haven't had any luck with leopards again in the evening, but we've stopped because there is a black shouldered kite perched on one of the tall trees in the grassland. It's looking down, trying to find some rodents or any other potential prey just to go off. And if you're lucky, it's going to come back. It's coming back. It's coming back and there we have it. Back on the tree with no kill. This guy seems promising and we're just going to spend a few minutes here and hope that it returns with a kill. About an hour ago we saw another black shouldered kite with a kill. Great light, great setting, great perch, very close to the camera. But there were some twigs and other sort of branches covering the kite. And uh, sometimes you get moments, sometimes you don't. And most often when you get those moments, there are some elements that you just cannot control, like those branches. The kite tried to hunt several times, but it didn't find a meal and we didn't find our leopard. Good morning again from Jalana. This is day three safari four. The sky is so clear compared to yesterday. We have no fog at all. And we have beautiful sun coming out, lighting up that ridge all throughout. Uh, word has it that there are three leopards in this area here. There is a male, a female, and a cub. And um, one of the cars saw uh, the male for at least 10 minutes. We were in another zone and we've driven here. So we are waiting patiently. There are different cars positioned on this lane. There are some cars positioned there. And uh, hopefully uh, we see some activity today. There was an alarm call. Some of the cars are heading there. I think we're going to head there too. There was an alarm call that came towards uh, the mining area behind uh, but we didn't see anything. We're just going to scan the area a little bit more and uh, let's see what happens. This entire area in front of me is where uh, the cats were seen last. <sighs> Three of them could be anywhere. We're looking for a 
being that has evolved to turn invisible on command and the grass here is all yellow just like the leopard is another needle in a haystack but there are three of them and even if one moves the grass a little bit we should be able to pinpoint them Alarm calls of birds and squirrels suggested that the cats were still in the area but we just couldn't see them. For the remainder of the day all we saw were parakeets foraging for food. Some peacocks looking out for a little attention. and a juvenile white-eyed buzzard trying to find a potential snack in the dry grass this was our fourth consecutive safari with no leopard sighting today is safari 5 if i'm not mistaken uh, we've scanned a lot of ground this morning as well and uh, no sign again of any leopards um, a few moments back we started hearing a desert fox howling and i'm not sure if the mic's going to pick it up but you might be able to hear it once again and that has to be a cat our luck finally changed when we came across a female leopard high in the tree top She wasn't alone. Rana, the showstopper, was down below. At the time, the two of them were a mating pair. After a short while of resting on the stone track, he made his way towards her. and she climbed down to be with him this is our seventh and second last safari uh, we're heading back to the same spot where we saw rana and the female and it just goes to show you how difficult wildlife can be at times we are approaching uh, the area where we saw rana and the female when she came down the tree there was just 4 minutes left to reach the gate and we had to rush and that was the end of the morning safari we tried our best to scan various locations and follow the pug marks left behind but there were no visuals of rana or the female it's finally Safari 8 the last safari of this trip and uh, next month when i'm back in jalana i'm going to be doing 20 full days uh, that will be schedule 6 of my leopard film i don't know if i should keep my hopes up for this safari because so far out of 7 drives we've had sightings only twice um, but fingers crossed as always wildlife although sometimes you may feel disappointed it also surprises you when you least expect it so um, somewhere uh, i'm going to hope that something happens but if it doesn't uh, that's still not a problem at all we finally entered jalana for the last safari we have two and a half hours of driving and scouting and uh, today is slightly warmer than the last couple of days today is 7 degrees as compared to 5 degrees which should be a little less sun forgiving on the fingertips we waited by the watch tower but we were faced with the same result no leopard we covered more ground in search of alarm calls and other signs 
but there was still no leopard. We got a bit lucky, not with any leopards, but with uh, a flat tire. <laughs> Whilst we were caught up changing tires, we received news that there was a leopard sighting not too far away. We missed the cat by a matter of minutes. When it comes to filming and photographing wildlife, especially leopards, the journey and the result are never in your control. Sometimes things work out and sometimes they don't. You just have to keep going. You have to be addicted to the chase regardless of the output. By the time you watch this video, I would have returned to Jalana to continue filming the next schedule of my broadcast project. I will be away for almost four weeks, but once I'm back, I will resume post-production on episode two of The White Panther. My YouTube projects are funded solely by passion and they take longer to publish as compared to other genres on the platform. But stay tuned and I promise to always make it worth the while. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more. I'll see you in India's wild Himalayas.